thought was to use the uh, theme, uh, the freedom to stay, which is what was on Facebook. That seems to be relevant to me right now. Uh, and it's what came forward intuitively. <coughs> and what I see in coming back to Israel and settling down is the certain things I have to do, like pay the rent and uh, uh, lots of stuff, practical stuff. And I keep remembering that I have to do it and then I hit a block and I don't, and there's a resistance. It's like when you have to open your bank statement and it stays there unopened for in the old days before you use the computer. You know. Don't want to know. There's a difficulty. And this morning, with some kind of synchronicity, came on the Facebook page uh, something from the Bratzlaff School. This was after I put the theme, uh, Freedom to Stay. I see this uh, quote from some uh, religious Hasidic text, which says that uh, somebody chooses for the path of God, this is their language, to really commit themselves to uh, the heavenly dimensions of themselves. And what can immediately come forward is a whole load of obstacles, reasons why not. And what should we should understand is that the uh, God is actually inside those obstacles. And I thought that was really cool because that's really the way I was thinking with this meditation. We have many, many patterns of behavior which are basically formed by the movement around such resistances. So if you take, for example, the bank statement, you know, we move around, move around, move around, and maybe until it comes to a crisis, and then we almost switch personality, or from fear, or from anger, and push through and go into an alter ego which takes care of stuff and then it's done and we can go back into the other side again and start ignoring bank statements again. But the actual reason for the resistance is never really opened. This method of staying in freedom with the actual energy which is resisting is quite important not just with bank statements and living but with also with meditation. Because when we meditate, you know, we all have our space where, which it feels good, or which is peaceful, or which is still, which we retreat to. But it's based also on a kind of pattern to move around this problem, or this block, or that block. So while it might erode the block very, very gently, it can also not change it at all. So we stay in a way caught in the same position. And this pattern of avoiding the resistance is based on this polarity of pleasure and pain. I want the pleasure, I don't want the pain. We're still caught in this idea that uh, of attraction towards what feels nice and uh, uh, avoidance of where there's uh, unpleasant feelings, where there's uh, suffering. The crazy thing is that when we stay in the place of resistance, just gently, gently stay there on whatever subject, we find the God inside the resistance. We find actually so much, uh, in the first place, we find out what's going on with us, what's behind it. And knowing what's going behind our resistance to open the bank statement or experiencing the resistance, which could come from something from childhood, nothing to do with banks at all, is already a big key to, to freeing ourselves. The second thing is that once we do it, once we realize that uh, the expansion and the liberation which begins to open is really, really worthwhile. You know, inside these resistances is also uh, uh, parts of our strength and our qualities and our beauty and, and, and what we have. You know, we could resist uh, singing in public always and yet we might have an incredible quality for singing in public and that's why we're resisting it. So in staying there, just staying in freedom because we are free to stay, can liberate the singer from the resistance, as an example. You get that example? Somebody sang once in public when they were a child and everyone said it was terrible. And they were ashamed. And they were rejected. But they really have a quality as a singer, which is why they sang as a child in the first place. But for their lifetime then, they're afraid of singing in public. Because of the shame and the guilt, and this is a resistance. 
but they're attracted to it at the same time, which is why they meet a resistance, because they have this quality. So in allowing themselves to, first of all, recognizing their freedom, total freedom to stay or go, visit or leave whatever part of ourselves we choose. Secondly, in staying there, the, the singer could actually be liberated again. She, she would go through the shame. Okay, this shame is no longer realistic. I don't actually care if people like my singing or not. I love to sing through the rejection. Okay, if they reject me, it's their problem. If I want to sing in my own bathroom, I sing in my own bathroom. It's, uh, who cares? You know? And she begins to <coughs> sing, it, sing again. So the meditation is based on staying anywhere we choose, small or big, where we feel a, a resistance. Just staying without any uh, uh, agenda to do anything, just to experience the resistance itself, just to taste it, just to kind of allow it, knowing that at any stage we can put it back again in a ball and just leave it there like it's always been there, like it's going to stay there. <laughs> but then why we'll check it out, just inquire, because it's part of us for all that. There's no threat in it. So, we start at the ID. Through the left side, make a figure of eight. Through the bottom of the sternum, down to the bases, back to the sternum, and back to the ID. Make a through the yeah. Just to make this movement, it's very balancing. And then when we uh, feel ourselves come to rest in this movement, because it does bring a lot of relaxation in itself, the left and the right, and female, male sky, earth. So when we feel ourselves coming to a rest, we rest here in the uh, bottom of the stone. Then, at a certain stage, we'll find there's a movement outwards. We're kind of thrown outwards in our attention. Our energy throws outwards, throws us outwards. In this field, there is a, it's, it's, it's in a way a kind of charge of love it, which, it, which throws us out but also there are many many resistances so when we find one we, that without thinking about it when we feel one we feel that something here is kind of a little bit icky or a little bit icky then just stay stay with it and what often happens is then it kind of uh, retracts, moves away, and comes up somewhere else. It's like nakam takam, you know. It's like you bang it here, and the head comes up somewhere else. If it comes up somewhere else, when we stay, like let's say here's a resistance, we come, we stay, it goes boom, like this. Just expand around both areas, uh, allowing them to be there, staying. Try the, the, the movement is to expand, to include and not to uh, hunt for where we feel good. If you feel you're hunting or wanting to fix, that's where we're not staying. So that's basically the meditation. After this, we can allow our uh, uh, awareness to expand outwards to the whole ball of the aura. Move to the focus position, which is between the ID and the head, and the, uh, the, between the crown and the ID is the focus position. It's a plane, which is very, very pleasant to get an overview, and uh, back up to the ID. Got it? Okay. Figure of eight to the key of the heart, at the bottom of the sternum. Allow ourselves to be taken outwards, find resistance. If it's moving, expand to also include, also include. And then at a certain stage, expand completely into the aura, up, rest in the focus position, and up to the ID. Okay. Yeah.